This is Clash of Clans Total War! Yeah. yeah, what's up YouTube? General Tony here coming back with a Total War video today. Today I'm going to be taking you through my clan, the war that we're in right now. It is the Unite United. It is YouTube General. That's the new name of the clan, and we're against a clan called Star Wall Star. We're winning 20 to 12. Obviously, we've used a lot more attacks than them. 10 more, in fact, and they've only used six. So I've got a couple of things to show you today. I'm going to show you the first attack on my base. This is my new Town Hall 9 war base. I've got one of the expos built, so there is still one more to be built. The attack used was level 3 dragons. So let's go in for the replay. So he's got 9 level 3 dragons, 3 lightning spells, 20 level 5 archers and a clan castle. He has no heroes with him. He's starting by lightning my level 6 air defense. So obviously he's going to come in from the northeast if he's taken that out. Down it goes with three lightning spells. Not really worth it in my opinion if you ask me. He should have bought three rage spells instead most likely. But everyone has their own kind of techniques. Some suck, some don't. There go his dragons. Nine level three dragons. So he's got his 20 arches and his clan castle left. That is all. Down goes that one pretty much with that one air bomb. Air bomb? Air mine. That air mine took that dragon out. Wizard going to work on a couple of those dragons. Archer Queen and my dragon from my clan castle do a perfect team up on their dragons. My dragon's level 2 and the Archer Queen just backs him up and literally slays two of their dragons straight. They've done nothing. Two pointless dragons. Bang goes his little giants there with his uh, spring traps. Archer Queen goes down but done massive damage to three of their dragons. That one's pretty much going down as well. He's trying to go in towards the town hall but those... Archer Towers are so perfectly placed, they're just taking them out from a distance and they're staying alive. The Archer Towers aren't getting harmed. Up pop the Tezzers. The Tezzers were a perfect distraction to take the Dragons away from the Town Hall to avoid the two stars. Always have something to distract Dragons. Whether it's Tezzlers, Storages, Wizard Towers, Archer Towers, anything. You always need to place something near the Town Hall which will distract and deter the Dragons away from the Town Hall itself. So he's got two Dragons left. One's going down the southwest corner. Just pointlessly taking out some of these collectors. Air defense level 6 is going to finish him off very quickly. He got 56%. Nowhere near the town hall. He wasn't even touching it really. Still two of those Teslas left. So as you saw, it's a decent base so far. So the first attack which I done was carried out on MM. Don't forget guys, I haven't got a spell factory. So I have zero spells with me. I'm now going to go ahead and show you the replay. So I've got the 37 archers, 9 wall breakers, 15 wizard, 2 peckers, 1 hog to draw out the clan castle troops. As you've seen, I just deployed him. 2 peckers, golem, clan castle, king, and the queen. The queen is also level 2 now. Getting her to level 5 as fast as possible to unlock the ability at level 1. So he's got his dragon and his wizard over here. They shouldn't cause too much of a problem, but they will take a few of my troops to take out. Down goes his wizard pretty quickly. He's got his dragon left. It's only level 2. Shouldn't be too hard. Wizards are getting popped though. Lost a couple of wizards there, which isn't good of course. He's then got his king, so I've decided to take his king out as well. Losing a couple more wizards in the process. Obviously, these little Harry Potters are vital when it comes to taking out some of the remaining defenses within the base. So I've deployed the golem and I've deployed the barbarian king with a couple of wall breakers behind. One thing I will say, the bad thing about this base is... The army camps are causing a distance between the wall and the wall breakers. So the wall breakers have got to run quite a distance to get into the walls. And without rage spells, they can get picked off at a distance. So as you see here, the first ones managed to make it in. The golem is getting attacked. A couple, I believe, were taken out there. Just managed to break through. Only one of the wall breakers got in. But in that time, the peckers drifted off towards the east. So I had to deploy more wall breakers there to get the peckers to drift inside of the base. In come the wizards with more wall breakers. Drop the king and the queen. Queen's going to go to work. One wall breaker almost weighed it through, but he didn't quite make it. So someone's got to go down and now break that wall. So you can see that they're in the center of the base now. They're going to take care of the town hall pretty easily. And the two stars is pretty much in the bag. But really, a town hall 9 attacking a town hall 8 wants the three stars. If I had rage spells, heal spells, anything along that line, I would have easily three starred this base. It would have been no problem. But without the spell factories, of course, it is a lot harder. Pekka's going down due to the double damage from the uh, from the Tesla. Doesn't work out too well. Archer Queen's still alive. Took out that last mortal. Going to work on the cannon. 
she decides to shoot the archer tower, take it out, but then the wizard tower and the cannon are going to unfortunately take care of her. And at that point, I knew that the three stars was never going to happen. It's impossible. Got a couple of archers left. They're not going to be able to take out the last cannon. They're quite weak. They're shooting down at the walls. So there it is. We're going to speed it up and finish off the raid. I end up ending it a little bit early because I know the archers aren't going to make it and take out that last cannon. Even if they did, I don't think there was enough time. So inside of my army camps, we have the beautiful peckers. We've got the wall breakers with the golden balls. we got the Harry Potters sitting alongside. About 15, 16 of them. More wall breakers. We've got the two golems sitting in their own camp. Of course, they are very lonely. They like to be on their own because they're stone. What else have we got? What else have we got? Have we got anything inside of the clan castle? We've got five archers. That's all we've been donated. Not too bad though. Who cares? Doesn't really matter. we got the Barb King and the Archer Queen. Now the base I'm going to attack is going to be a lot, lot lower than what I should be attacking. But I haven't got any spells. So I'm going to have to attack something lower. So let's go ahead and scout some bases and see when I can three star. We're not going to go for this because his mortars are just too high level. I don't think we're going to be able to three star. Okay, so here we go. This is number five. It's already been attacked. We're going to skip it. Number seven hasn't been attacked. Let's just go in and wreck this base. So we're hoping for the three star. If we don't get the three star, it is a pretty poor attack coming from... Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, I've completely forgotten my hog, but that's okay. The dragon still managed to come out there. Okay, and we have no archers. So we're going to have to use a wizard to draw him out. So over comes the dragon. Wiz Wiz is going to go to work on them pretty soon when he comes over here. And we're going to drop some of these wizards. <laughs> Could you please take out the dragon? Okay, let's drop the Barb King as a distraction. And the Archer Queen, which will hopefully just go inside of the base. In go some wall breakers. Come on, get inside, get inside. Follow in with the Peckers. Why are the Peckers going for the army camps? I have no idea. More wall breakers and the clan castle. So let's see how this does. I completely forgot to rage up my king. This has been a complete flop so far. I don't think this is going too well. We have no spells to rage anything up. So the archers, the archers, the wizards are going to get taken out by any mortars that get dropped on them. The archer queen's still alive though. She hasn't been hit, which is okay. So it should be pretty much guaranteed the two star. Go into work, not too bad. If we'd raged up that king, we might have got the three star, but I'm not really too sure right now. Hopefully these wizards take out this Barbarian King as quick as possible and the Town Hall. There he goes, he's down. He did manage to take out some of those uh, some of the wizards. Though. I keep calling the uh, wizards archers for some reason. Peckers are both still alive, are they? Yeah, two Peckers are both alive, so that's not too bad. This could still be a three star. Queen's taken out that mortar. Down goes the last mortar. Oh no, there's one more mortar left on the north corner. That wizard's there. Hopefully he's going to take care of it. Nope, he got shot down by the wizard tower. Down goes the other Harry Potter. Pekka hopefully going to break inside of that wall and take out that mortar. Or the Archer Queen's going to go to work. I think the Archer Queen's got it. There we go. She had it covered with her expo. Down goes some of those elixir storages. Sorry, the elixir collectors. So not much left. They've got an Archer Tower, a Wizard Tower, and a cannon. Along with two more Tezzas and another cannon towards the east. As long as this Archer Tower doesn't do too much damage to the Queen, it should be okay. There we go. We've still got the Pekkas left. They're randomly hitting stupid walls. The Queen's going to do down. Hopefully she manages to take out a single Tesla. Come on, come on, no. Okay, this isn't looking too good right now. We've got a Pekka, a couple of Wizards. These Wizards are going to need to get there as quick as possible so that the Golem can distract them whilst they take out these Teslas. Quickly, quickly, take out the Teslas. There we go. One's down, one's down. Take out the Cannon, come on. Down goes the Cannon. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, didn't manage to do it. The Pekka needs to get in there as quick as possible. She's not going to be able to do it. The Builder Hut is still in the corner. So this is going to be, unfortunately, another two star. Maybe if we'd kept an archer back, we could have done it. But, you know, things work out like this sometimes. So we managed to gather four stars from all this time. <laughs> that golem, little golem just got absolutely flung off of that screen. And there it is. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, comment, favourite and share this video with your friends. I hope it's been entertaining. Stay tuned for many more to come. Peace out.